What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, I am super excited for today. I'm gonna make this quick. Um, the next few weeks, you're gonna be seeing a couple of changes with all the videos from now on, and I need you guys to comment in the comment section down below. Let me know like, in what way should you think that I should tweak the videos a little bit. This one, I'm trying to focus on not doing such a huge long intro. Like, I wanna get to the food as soon as possible. With that said, today we're going to a Cuban cafe. I've known of about three or four, I'm not sure which one is the best one. So I figured, hey, we're just gonna eventually try them all. So today we're going to the first one. All the information's in the description down below. I'll see you guys there. Awesome, we are here. We're in the Cuban cafe right now. This place so far, it's really, really small. I actually really, really like it. You get kind of get homey vibes from it. Um, we ended up ordering a pan cubano. We also went ahead and ordered like a uh, fried egg platter. I also ordered a steak sandwich just so I want to get variety from the different type of like Cuban dishes that they have for breakfast at least because they do have lunch here. My wife ended up getting a mocha and vanilla frappuccino. I ended up getting a cafe con leche, which is delicious and I'll show you guys that as well it's very Hispanic um, not only that but we ended up getting a whole bunch of different little sides so I could show you so enough said I'll see you guys when the food comes out all right guys awesome so, so the food finally came out at least some of it I'm gonna kind of flash over real quick what we ended up getting as I mentioned before I mean everything looks really really good and the one thing is the pasteles that we got which I'll show you guys in a second literally just came out of the oven and they look amazing but let's check this stuff out all right guys so this right here is gonna be the chicken and beef croquette along with the potato ball usually the potato balls I'm used to are much bigger than this but I mean that's great we ended up getting here a quesito which is like a little pastry that is filled with cream cheese this is a guava and cheese filled this right here is gonna be the beef empanada this delicious sandwich right here is the steak sandwich as well right here is my wife's sandwich this is the bacon and egg and cheese sandwich and this here is the pan cubano that I, can, I cannot wait to try that and then of course I ended up getting a cafe con leche I love the design that they made this looks really really good and of course you have like that pinch that pinch of salt my Hispanic almost came out there and you got the sugar to kind of fill it in but yeah I mean this looks really really good let's go ahead and dig in all right so first things first I'm gonna get my wife her sandwich so she can start eating I just asked that you leave me a bite so I can try it but enough is enough first thing I want to go for is the empanada so I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite into this I mean look at the perfection of the bubbles I mean that looks really really good I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice big bite and let's go ahead and check the inside really really hot I genuinely did not expect that all right you guys look at this this beef empanada is super super stuffed it's huge not only that but it's nice and I mean that is some juicy stuff right there you see the perfect bubbling so it's nice and crispy on the outside super juicy on the inside and the taste and the ground beef is phenomenal and I love how pretty much generous they are with the meat I'm gonna take another bite this is really really good The next thing we're gonna try is gonna be the pan cubano. The reason I wanna try it is because it has cheese in it and it's nice and hot. So I wanna make sure that I try it before it cools down, just in case. Let's go ahead and take a bite. And we're gonna go ahead and, try. I mean, look at the thickness. I mean, this is my favorite. That's a pretty thick sandwich. But let's go ahead and take a bite into this. You have this delicious mozzarella cheese. It did cool down enough already. You have this amazing taste of mustard and pickles on the bottom side. The ham is nice and pretty thick in my opinion. You have this generous amount of the uh, pork, of the shredded pork, and then the Cuban sandwich. As always, it's nice and buttery, so it's nice and crispy on the top, but it's super soft and light, almost like a cloud when you bite into it. This is absolutely delicious. And having that vinaigrette from the pickle itself cut through the fatness of like the pork, the creaminess of the cheese and the ham, it just complements this sandwich so much. I'm telling you guys, the flavors are phenomenal on this. 
And the plantain chips, these are actually freshly made by them. I thought it was like prepackaged, but as soon as you like break them, you can kind of feel that these are homemade. They don't have like that insane crispiness. They have a little bit of a stiffness and crispiness, so. Mm. A more chewy version of plantain chips. But then on top of that, you have the slight sweetness at like the deep end of it. And it really balances that saltiness and flavor from the Cuban sandwich. Really, really well. Mm. All right guys, so before we continue with the food, we have to dig into this coffee. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little sugar in it. I typically like mine a little bit bitter, so I don't put as much sugar as some other people. Little trick for everybody out there, and just do not knock it until you try it. Pinch of salt to any of the coffees that you have, and it really elevates that flavor quite a bit. But it has to be a pinch, don't go crazy. Like literally just a little pinch, you add it, it kind of elevates that sweetness and kind of removes the bitterness of the coffee itself. It makes it much more enjoyable. This is really, really good, I can't wait. I mean, the smell coming from this is amazing. I love Cuban coffee of all types. Anybody out there will tell you that Cuban coffee is one of the strongest and most delicious creamy coffees you can have. It's super delicious. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oh my gosh. Simply amazing, in all honesty. There's no comparison. Especially when you're used to having like Americanos and like pretty much watered down coffee in most of the places, at least in my opinion. This is phenomenal. All right guys, awesome. So now the next thing we're gonna try is we're gonna continue with our fried adventure. We're gonna have the chicken croquette and the beef croquette. I don't know if you guys remember from last week's video. I normally don't like this, but because it's an authentic Cuban cafe, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a shot. Regardless, I'll be completely honest. Even if I don't like it, I can appreciate the flavors and the taste of it. So let's go ahead and dig into this. First thing we're gonna try is this one. I don't know if this is chicken or beef, but we'll try it out. Mm, this is a chicken. I hate to say, I've been eating these since I was a kid, but in all honesty, I just, I never understood why people love these so much. Flavor's really good, to be completely honest. It's just something about the texture for me. The inside, this is the chicken one. The inside is nice and like very mashed potato-y, as I mentioned before. The outside is very slightly crispy, a little bit oily, but I mean, it's not a bad taste. It's, it's pretty good, and compared to other chicken croquettes that I've had, this one's like way better, but it's just not my thing. I don't know why. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It honestly tastes like it's mashed up chicken chicken kind of mixed in with um, like potato. I don't know if that's how it is. I've never really looked up what this is, but it's a Cuban staple. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. Now we're gonna try the beef croquette and see how this one is. So very similar in the texture. This one's the beef croquette. Honestly, flavor, as I said, to be completely honest, it's way better on this one than it is on other croquettes that I've had in other places. It's just still not my thing. Let's go ahead and have the rest of it. All right, the last one we're gonna try is the world's smallest little potato ball. I've never had one this size. Usually all the ones that I have are like, almost like a baseball size. This is tiny, it's really adorable. I'm gonna try it, tell you guys my honest opinion, and then I'll give the rest of my wife so she can try it out. But basically, this is mashed potatoes, and on the inside, you fill it with like any filling. Normally, if you have either chicken or beef, this one's filled with beef, and then they put it in batter and deep fry it. And I, I don't know exactly what the batter is. I think it's just like flour, and then they just deep fry it. But let's go ahead and try this out. Mm. So I know this is a beef ball, but the flavor is just phenomenal. You have this delicious, like I said, mashed potato. The outside's nice and hard enough to kind of keep its shape without me squeezing it, of course. And then the inside, you just have like a tiny little spoon of, of, um, of meat. But I mean, that's pretty good considering the size. It's a pretty good amount of meat. This is pretty dang good, I'm gonna be honest with you. My wife says she didn't want it, so I'm gonna go ahead and have the rest. You don't want any? All right, so I'm gonna have the rest of it. Mm. What makes a good potato ball 
100% is that filling has to be flavorful enough to actually season the whole or be the star of the bite. And it definitely does its job. All right, guys, so next thing we're gonna try is the rest of the, or at least a piece of this quesito. This is my wife's. So as I mentioned, this is the, pretty much like a flaky pastry filled with cream cheese. Let's go ahead and take a video and then I'll try a bite. So this right here, it's very flaky. They usually put a little bit of sugar on top when they put it in the oven. It's very flaky. It's usually a dessert. It's a good way to add like a sweet and saltiness. Usually you could have this with coffee or like my wife, she had it with her, you know, bacon, egg and cheese sandwich. But you know, you're welcome to trade it off for anything else you want. And then it has a little tiny bit of cream cheese. I think it had more, but my wife went ham on this because this was like that long. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and just try a bite and then give the rest to her. All right, let's try this out right here. Mm, it's really good. So the inside, the cream cheese is really sweet. It's really delicious. The outside, super flaky, almost like a croissant. Flavors really nice, buttery, and you have this delicious kind of like burnt tint—not burnt, but you have like this little layer of like very thin, crunchy sugar on the top that just kind of adds to that salt and sweetness. Mm. I'm gonna be honest, I might be a little bit biased because these literally came out of the oven right before they gave them to us. We saw them come out, so. Mm. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and try the guava and cheese pastry. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite and then we'll look into it as well. So same thing with this one, super, super flaky. Nice and buttery in taste, literally breaking apart. I don't see much cream cheese on the inside, but it is there. It's just under all that marmalade, like that guava, oh man. But it's like the combination is so good on this one because usually they put too much guava or too much cheese for this one, even though you can't see it, it's there and it just balances itself out so well. Alright guys, we're gonna go to the next sandwich. I'm starting to get full, but we're gonna go to the next sandwich. We're gonna do the steak sandwich. And as you guys know, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up comparing this to the Maison sandwiches. And I have a feeling this is just gonna be so much better. But let's go ahead and try this out. Mm. So I'm gonna be a little honest. Flavor-wise, absolutely amazing. You have the freshness of the lettuce and the onions to cut through the fat of the steak or the fat taste of the steak the steak is very dry I mean it has been sitting here but I just have a feeling that normally it's like this you do have some mayonnaise and you have these delicious little pick sticks I don't remember the actual name of these but these are the small potato sticks that you can buy honestly flavor super delicious but it is a bit dry on the bite which in all honesty is all normal and you know you can understand that because it's been sitting there for a while it might be a little more dry than it was when I first got it but I don't Honestly, I don't care. Mm. On that second bite, I ended up finally getting to that tomato. Oh, the tomato adds a little bit of that juiciness that it's missing. Mm. All right, next I'm gonna try a bite of my wife's bacon, egg and cheese. Now this looks really, really basic. In all honesty, the Cuban bread's really what, it's not what's carrying everything, but the Cuban bread, it's freshly made here. And that's what takes all these sandwiches just from being like a regular sandwich to that next level. So let's go ahead and try a bite of this one. Mm. So that cheese did cool down quite a bit, but you have this delicious like juicy egg and that bacon is perfectly cooked, nice and crispy. It's not an overwhelming amount, but it's just good enough to make like everything balance out in flavor. And just the bread, guys. The bread is everything here in all honesty. It's what's making everything that much better. All right, guys, so we're here with the last dish right now. I'm actually about to have a sip of coffee, but look at this beauty in all honesty. Just that is beautiful. You guys got to check this out. So this is their Cuban platter. I don't know how authentic this is. I don't care. It just it's amazing. You have sunny side up eggs sitting on top of like pastel, which is super delicious and airy. You have these two pieces of crispy bacon. You have some fries, then you have tostadas, which is their pan cubano, flattened pretty much and just coated with butter. This looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and just tear a piece into this. I'm too full to eat, so I'm gonna tear a piece of this right now. We're gonna go ahead and go into this egg. Oh wow, look at that. Super perfectly runny. And let's try this golden, beautiful egg yolk with this buttered toast. Let's try it out. Hey right, guys. Mm. 
want to try it? <laughs> Perfect. The french fries, not pre-frozen. These are cut by them. You can kind of taste it. I don't know if you guys can relate, but oh man, that egg yolk tastes so good. But you can easily tell when a fry is like pre-frozen or if it's like a fresh potato cut fry. This is a fresh potato cut fry. Mm. This is my wife, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to her. She wants to try it out. With that said, this is the first Cuban breakfast that we've had in a very long time. I ended up listening to you guys, especially you, Letter G, Letter A, and we ended up getting a brand new camera, so hopefully videos, quality, and stuff like that is gonna get better from now on. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. I know it's kind of been a little bit of a roller coaster with either sound um, issues, image issues. Hopefully everything is fixed from now on. I went ahead and I, I, I ended up investing in everything else I needed. Now I'm gonna just try to get a little bit more in depth with the editing and things like that, just to make sure that I give you guys as best of a show that I can give you. With that said, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming with us today. 100% I recommend this place. All the information of this restaurant is going to be in the description down below. You guys can check it out. It has the address. If they have a website, it'll be listed on there. Please remember to subscribe. Hit that like. It's free. And it really helps the algorithm of this channel. That way we can get some more and more people. That way I can keep kind of reinvesting in the channel. We can keep growing and we can keep making things better. To get more quality, more variety, we can start going to other places as well. Thank you so much for everything. I will see you guys next Sunday. And until then, let's just keep on eating.